Hi everybody, how are you? Welcome to another video for MRCS exam and this is the question and answer session. Question and answer session is one of the best way to prepare yourself for MRCS exam and pass the MRCS exam very easily. So here the question, a 56 years old um, machinist has his arm entrapped in a steel grinder and is brought to emergency department on examination. He is unable to extend his metacarpophalangeal joint and abduct his shoulder. He has weakness of the elbow and wrist. What has been injured? So after reading, we have to find out the important point here. We can see a 56-year-old mechanist as arm interrupted he is still grinder and is brought to emergency department. On examination, there is unable to MP joint, that means metacarpophalangeal joint and also there is loss of abduction of the shoulder so which has been injured so first of all we have to find out uh, the uh, muscle or nerve which supplies the metacarpophalangeal joint in the extensor aspect and we have to find out the muscle which is responsible for abduction of the shoulder so shoulder is in the upper part or proximal part of the Upper limb, on the other hand, metacarpophalangeal joint, it is the most distance. So, we have to find out a uh, structure which supplies both the metacarpophalangeal joint and the abductor of the shoulder. So, here are the options. The options are ulnar nerve, axillary nerve, medial cord of the brachial plexus, lateral cord of the brachial plexus, and posterior cord of the brachial plexus. So, we have to find out one of the nerve. Actually, they all are the nerve which nerve supplies the muscle which causes extension of the metacarpophalangeal joint and also that causes abduction of the shoulder so here we can see first of all radial nerve radial nerve supplies all the extensor group of the muscles and other muscles such as uh, we can see a mnemonic this is the beast here b for brachioradialis e for all the extensor extensor of the finger extensor of the wrist extensor of the forearm and extensor of the elbow that means all the upper limb extensor are supplied by the radial nerve then a for anconius s for supinator and t for triceps so these muscles are supplied by the radial nerve so here there is the finger extension or metacarpophalangeal joint extension so all extensor are supplied by the radial nerve so radial nerve is one of the option but here is no radial nerve then the second point here this is the abduction of the shoulder also lost so now we have to find out the abductor who is of the shoulder joint here we can see these are the abductors of the shoulder joint and we know the abductors of the shoulder joint mainly supraspinatus and deltoid and we know that the supraspinatus and deltoid this is supplied by the axillary nerve so we have to include axillary nerve and the radial nerve here we can see this is the supraspinatus here a inferior inferior, uh, inferior spinatus then we can see teres minor teres major here and triceps here and here we can see this is the deltoid so deltoid and supraspinatus this is supplied by the axillary nerve so our answer will be the axillary nerve and the radial nerve but there is no option of the axillary no ex uh, option of the radial and we know that the axillary and radial nerve they are both arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus so our answer will be the posterior cord of the brachial plexus here we can see the posterior cord of the brachial plexus is responsible for this event because extension of the metacarpophalangeal joint it is due to loss of the radial nerve function and abduction of the shoulder is lost due to loss of function of the axillary nerve and the radial nerve and axillary nerve they arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus so our final answer is the posterior cord of the brachial plexus